Hi, this is Mike from the mobilefanatics.com. Um, we're going to show you today a torture test of multitasking on the Nokia N8. We already have the applications open in the background. I'm going to show you real quick how fast the phone moves, how smooth everything is. Right now we got 13 applications open. It shows up here the number of applications. I'll start from left to right. Bloomberg, the menu is considered an application, Opera Mobile, Gravity, Taskman, Calendar, Music Player, Photos, Nimbus, Conversations, OV Maps, Mail, and Pixel Pipe. Um, we'll go through some of these applications. Pixel Pipe usually just runs all the time. It's sitting in the background waiting for me to upload pictures to various social media sites, um, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr. I could send stuff to Dropbox. Um, we'll go back to multitasking. Let's see. We got Bloomberg open right now in the background. Check your stocks, um, the markets. Got the menu open, Opera Mobile. I have two sites running right now in the background. Go to our tabs. Here's one. There's the other. You can get another one going. We'll go to the mobilefanatics.com real quick. Opera Mobile is one of those most must-have applications on your phone. Blows away the default browser on the N8. Keep going over in our multitasking test right here. We got Gravity open. Uh, Gravity's for Twitter, Google Reader. I got my Facebook feeds. I could send photos to Flickr from here also. So let's go to my timeline. As you can see, everything's running pretty smooth. Keep that in the background. Scroll over to Taskman, we have another Taskman besides this one that's built in. This is a third party Taskman you can find in the OV store. It kind of lists out the open applications. Um, as you can see right now we have 32 megabytes free with 13 applications running. Let's see what else we have open. The calendar it runs pretty smooth. You can navigate around without a problem. We have the music player open. Check out the cover flow. No slowdowns here either. Let's uh, take it from the bottom. Let's go really fast right here. All the way to the beginning. Let's go back. Let's play something so I can show you guys the phone doesn't really slow down even with music going in the background. Here we go. We'll play Radiohead. Okay, wait for the music to start. We'll scroll over. Pixel pipe menu, photos. There's a photos application. Okay, everything loads pretty fast. Click on a photo, scroll right through. No problems right here. These are some night shots that I took recently. Some screenshots. Um, yep, go all the way up and down. So we'll leave that running. We'll check out what else do I have open? Nimbus. Let's me chat with uh, Facebook, Gmail, uh, Gtalk. I mean, I only got two contacts online right now, but it's running in the background. People can go ahead and chat with me. It'll show a pop up when somebody sends me a message. Um, email that's running in the background. I can switch between accounts right here. Click on an email, a new email. It's going to go ahead and retrieve it and try to view the HTML version of it. I would really would like this email application run a little bit faster especially with HTML but as you can see it pulled it off um, I could zoom in zoom out go back to multitasking where we could switch between stuff I got OV maps conversations open 
Everything runs smooth. Let's open up OV Maps. Where I got it? Right here. Okay, running smooth. Um, check out the home screens. Tap this middle screen. I could either swipe across the screen to move through or I could tap this middle button. Right there you see my shortcuts in the middle. I got my favorite contacts on the bottom. Google search uh, widget right here. I just tap it. It brings up the keyboard. I could go ahead and type my search and then push Google or my content. It will search the phone. Got the music player right here. Switch through everything. Um, battery widget right there lets me know how much time I have under active use left. Kind of nice. That's my main home screen. I like keeping it basic with just my favorite applications that I are absolutely essential throughout the day. And then I have my info home screen with um, two email accounts, uh, missed calls, SMS, calendar entries, um, calendar entries right here. RSS feed and weather. We can go ahead and launch the weather application, which is SBP Mobile or SBP Weather. SPB Weather. Got a couple um, cities already set up. Click on the current forecast. Go back to multitasking, see if anything actually shut down. 14 applications are running right now, so what we're going to do is put this to the ultimate torture, pause the music, try to open up Angry Birds, which is a really heavy application game. Right there, I just clicked on it. Usually it takes about 10 seconds to fully launch, so it's ready to use. So let's see how long it takes right here. As you can see, it's actually taking way too long, but you know what? We do have 14 applications running in the background, so that's something I could deal with right now. Once the gameplay actually starts, there's no slowdown at all. It's just getting this thing launched, which takes a long time. See, as you can see, pinch to zoom, everything runs very smooth. We'll launch a bird. All right, so right there you can see we have no problems. With that running in the background, we'll go back to the home screen, see if there's anything else we could fire up. Um, I got a tip calculator right here. Launch is fine, we'll go to the menu so you can see how fast everything runs. Okay, go to applications. Actually, yep. Yeah. So we have a slight delay here, but it's not too bad. You could either do uh, regular kinetic scrolling right here, or you could grab the side menu bar and go really fast. Um, let's check out our multitasking one more time before I wrap it up. See how many applications are left open. We're probably starting to run out of RAM right now. Memory full, close some applications, and try again. So we topped off right around 15. Um, looks like it's starting to shut stuff down. So I'll go to my multitasking. Right now it says 12 applications open, which isn't bad. Tips, Angry Birds, Music Player, Weather, OV Maps, Conversations, Nimbus, Calendar, Taskman. Uh, let's see, I accidentally went the wrong way. Gravity is still open. Opera Mobile. So all the major applications. I can still go to Opera Mobile. Um, I don't have any problems there. All the major applications that I want to keep open are still running. Check out OV Maps. Zoom out. Zoom in. So it's not really slowing down the phone too much. It just shut down a few things. I can't even remember what it shut down actually. You go to Gravity. Another application that uses up a decent amount of RAM. RAM. As you can see here, it looks like we might be having a problem with Gravity. 
doesn't want to load under heavy uh, heavy conditions on the phone. Go back to Angry Birds. See if we keep playing. Yep, we could. Go back to the home screen. Everything still s flows smooth. Go to conversations. Opens up instantly. Um, contacts. Opens up calendar. Go to your clock. Set your alarm. Let's check out our RSS feed real quick. And we still have 11 applications running right now. So there you have it. The Nokia N8 can run about 12, 11 applications, heavy applications. Um, if you go to Taskman, the third party application which shows everything that's running, um, right here is the open applications. Home screen, Angry Birds, Gravity, Maps, Opera Mobile, Tips, Music Player, Weather, Nimbus, Pixel Pipe, um, Contacts, Calendar, Clock, free 11 megabytes. So there you have it. That's multitasking on the Nokia N8. Thanks for watching.